it was plain for all to see. I think it's an inexplicable decision. At the end, well, I just, uh, I really don't understand it. It's a goal-scoring opportunity. Players failed in the penalty area. It's straightforward from an otherwise fine referee who's got it wrong. It's really as simple as that. Now, what I've said in previous interviews out there, so I've taught myself silly, is that in a couple of days' time, it's forgotten. We're losing, we're losing finalists in a really fine game of football. And um, two or three days, it's it's uh, it's all forgotten about. But it is. It's a it's a, it's a major major point in the game. I thought that in the game itself, I thought we were absolutely brilliant, particularly first half. We played really really great. Really great football. Some magnificent performances. Manchester United, you can't keep a team like Manchester United at bay uh, all the time. So they come roaring back in the second half. They show their great experience, as befits a side that contesting Champions League finals and uh, and winning championships galore. They've got really good players and they can keep the ball and they can cause you problems. I never thought, I never thought we were out of the game. Never thought, even at 2-1. I think that we can... Uh, I was really delighted with the team. Absolutely delighted with the side. We've been beaten. Um, players are very, very despondent, obviously. Well, we're going to try our utmost to try and get back here again. We're are going to try our utmost to get back. Because they are great occasions. And they're worthwhile doing. And uh, why Wembley still doesn't have the Twin Towers, which are really disappointed about. Um, it's still a, a great old venue.